Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to another update video. Uh, this is the early June 2023 update. Uh, it's been a while, and as you can see, uh, my statues have uh, increased a little bit. Um, I was home for Memorial Day weekend, was able to get rid of all the statues here, and wanted to give you guys an update as to what is coming. Uh, so I do have confirmation number one, that the Vegeta bust from KD Collectibles has indeed arrived in the United States and will be uh, delivered at my Connecticut address uh, on Thursday of next week. So finally, that was uh, that was about about four to five weeks of shipping, so very fast. Um, and uh, for those of you who haven't heard, uh, I have accepted a new position back home in Connecticut starting in July. So now I will be home when these things arrive, which is extremely helpful for me. Um, I'm still finishing up here in Virginia, but should be out of here in a couple weeks, so excited for that. Uh, still no update. Uh, whoa. Uh, I guess I'll put photos here. That's weird. There's the Lady D. Still no update on her, but supposedly she's on the way. So, uh, we will, we will see what happens. Uh, the self, the self ray cost no update that will probably come up a little bit later on. Uh, let's see here, Revenge Frieza still no update. I'm still paying this one off, uh, although this might be one that I potentially sell now that I have the KD Frieza in hand. It really depends on how this one looks. I mean, this might come in person and I might be like, Whoa, you know, I might love the Frieza base and I might sell the KD one. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, but we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Gohan bust. Um, I just paid off the remaining balance, so I'm waiting for the shipping. I think the goal from KD is to have this ship towards the end of the month. Uh, so, he might be on his way soon, which would be really cool. I am super excited for this one. Uh, obviously, uh, no update on Jill and Nemesis. I did pay off... Well, I got up to my final payment for Jill. Uh, they don't process the final payment until shipping is ready. So, uh, and I just got to pay off Nemesis, and they will be shipping. They're still on course for a uh, October to January ship date. So, a little bit more time for those dudes. Again, I'm always excited for some Resident Evil stuff. But let's talk about some new things, folks. I think since my last update. Uh, oh, uh, and Ripley. No update on her, but she should be shipping within the next month or two. Uh, and she is all paid for, so I'm, I'm super excited for her. Uh, and so let's talk about some new things and go from there. So Prime 1 opened up their Xenomorph egg, uh, and I did reserve an open one. I think this will pair nicely with the Ripley statue. Uh, and if I like it and it's good, then I'll order kind of like a closed version uh, of it and put it next to it since I missed out on the Warrior Alien. Uh, but nice little little thing here. Uh, supposed to ship it, I think, in a couple months as well. So that was that's new. Um, if those of you haven't seen, I also have a Hercule statue uh, on order. This is a one quarter scale. Um, he'll go nice with Cell and my Goku Gohan one. And he also comes with a smaller figure with like really funny expressions. And uh, uh, this is from Cloud Studio. I'm really excited for this one. Believe it or not. Um, uh, it'll be nice to see a cool Hercule statue. Uh, what else? Oh, I did go on the wait list for the T-800. This is supposedly a half scale. This is huge. I am on the wait list. Um, I'm, I'm still debating on if I want to go through with it. Uh, it is a very pricey statue. Um, but from what I have read, it is like it is a grail in the Terminator world. Uh, and I love Terminator. And uh, I think this would be like a... This would definitely be a grail piece for certain. Uh, so uh, we'll see on this one. By the next update, um, that's either going to be on. It's either going to be in payment or it's going to be uh, gone. So we'll we'll see about that. Uh, I just put Ghostface on order, uh, shipping at the end of the year. Uh, he'll go nice with my one quarter scale uh, Michael Myers statue, and. Uh, uh, this is the deluxe version, so it comes with four interchangeable Ghostface masks. Uh, obviously, Ghostface is an iconic horror villain. Um, I didn't see the new movie, but I heard it was decent. Uh, I did like Scream 5, so 
Uh, I'm super excited for that. And last but not least, the next bust is the Vegito bust, which is currently in payment. Uh, this is not due out until the end of the year. Uh, KD Studios unveiled him and Gogeta at the same time. Uh, and I just chose to go with Vegito just because he features more prominently in the anime. Uh, whereas Gogeta is... Um, really not all that featured that much at all. Uh, even in the Fusion Reborn movie, he was in there for about two minutes. Uh, and then, then GT, he was in there for a single episode. Um, and then, of course, if you want to count the new Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, I mean, yeah, he was in the last half of that film. But, I mean, predominantly, uh, Vegito is, I think, the more known. And he'll pair nice with the Goku and Vegeta bus that I already have. So I'm super excited to get him. Um... I also like how they kind of just went more with a cutoff on the waist. Um, I think that's that's really, really cool. Uh, super excited for that. Uh, and that's about it, folks. Um, you know, you can see uh, we do have a couple of things here. Uh, and then hopefully we'll see what, uh, what else comes down the pipeline. But wanted to give you all a quick update uh, as to what's hopefully coming in the coming months. Uh, as always, I appreciate your support. Like, share, subscribe, comment, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.